Hey, it is Monday, October 17th, and today I had music theory. Um, as you can see, I'm already in bed, I already took a shower and everything, so I'm, uh, I guess I'm pretty tired today. But it was a good day, so let's see. Starting out, I woke up and I headed immediately, didn't even, like, I got in the shower, got dressed, and was out of the house. I had to head over to the, the UPS place to pick up the last of uh, Mina's boxes, which I picked up her tambourine her keyboard and um it's like a guitar but yeah i've got the tambourine right here next to me i've also got the xbox guitar this thing is wild check this out it's like it's like guitar hero but it's a real guitar with strings i mean i know it's out of tune but yeah look at it's xbox that's wild so i don't know what we're gonna get into with this guitar thing here um that should be interesting there we go. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Doesn't want to stay still. Stay still. All right. There we go. That's good. Anyway, so I got back home, headed over to lab. I had a lab at three, and it was about an hour and a half long today. Uh, we had that time. Today was a group lab, and we essentially, we, I mean, we basically worked in our groups today for the, the final project for music theory. And I am proud to say that my group, we finished our entire project in an hour and a half, which is very respectable. Um, I put the chart together, uh, Ashwin put the, the list together, and then Landon put the, the essay together. So, I mean, it was, I mean, it was perfectly divided. It worked out really well. I did the chart in Sibelius 5 uh, to make it look really nice and neat. And uh, with Ashwin having the list of how long each section of the song was, it was it was really easy for me to make the chart basically. You know, it's no problem. And Landon and Landon had already figured out the chord progression of the song, so we were pretty much set. Uh, so it was a really easy day in, in lab. We actually finished pretty early and got out of there a good half hour early, or or fifteen. Well, we got out early basically. And so I headed to the library and I turned in the, the music theory book that I had. Uh, renewed this book, Lateral Thinking, because uh, I'm, I'm about halfway done with this one. I've been doing a lot of reading on it, which is it's, it's kind of okay to do that. You're not supposed to. It even says in the beginning it's not meant to be read through like that. You have to practice it. But, I mean, at some point I have to give the book back to the library. I might just buy a copy of it on the, the iBook thing, on the iPad or whatever, because um, I really like the book. I like the ideas it has. Um, and actually, I'm, at, I'm putting some of those ideas to use uh, in real life, actually. There's some things that I've been having to kind of get creative with uh, and that I've been talking to Mina about. So I'm actually using the stuff from the book. It's, it's actually applic applicable to real life stuff. Lecture was, was, was all right. We talked about instrumentation, um, the format of instrumental pieces of music, because they're not songs. A song is technically where you have lyrics and words put to music. That's a song. So instrumentals are not songs. They are uh, usually called tunes or pieces or instrumentals, whatever. But they're not songs. Um, so you can't get those mixed up. Um, we also talked about oh, harmonics today, and like we talked about the bugle, the bugle horn, and like it has no valves, it's just got the mouthpiece and then the horn itself, and we talked about what notes it can hit and why, so that was pretty interesting, and that of course took the entire four hours basically. We got out 15 minutes early. And I needed food, so I ran to the store as soon as I got out of class and got food and came back and ate the food. <laughs> so it was it was cool. And then I took a shower and I called uh, Miss Mina Kay, of course. And uh, she's, she's making some food actually herself. And she was like, talk to me. So I was like, all right, I'll make the video now too. So I'm talking to her too. I'm telling her about my day and everything. Uh, but no, it was a pretty good day. I, uh, yesterday I went to the meeting, it was technically the second meeting for the, the first annual Orlando Hip Hop Festival, which for me was the first meeting because I had physics uh, during the, the first meeting. I gotta say, it's going way deeper than I expected it to. 
Um, like there is a lot going on for this for this festival, and so far I was I was put on the sound equipment team, so I have to go in on Thursday at one o'clock in the afternoon um, to help set up sound equipment for the festival on Saturday, and then on Saturday I have to wake up at like five thirty in the morning to be over there at six thirty in the morning. To help uh, finish setting up the live equipment um, that we're going to be unloading on Thursday, I do believe. So it's going to be busy. That's in the morning. And then I think I have to, I'm going to be there all day until like midnight um, to help tear down the stage equipment. And then I have to go back on Sunday to help load that equipment onto the truck again. So it's going to be a busy weekend. And on top of that, I was also put on two separate teams, or sound equipment team, and I was put on the uh, the vendor team or whatever. So I'm going to be helping out with all the vendors that are coming uh, and probably helping set up their stalls and stands and everything. Um, and the cool part is that the guy that, uh, we're, that I'm working for this week, who is actually, he, he's the creator of the, the hip-hop festival, he's, you know, buddy-buddies with all these big wigs that own all these different companies in Florida and so this is going to be a really great ne networking opportunity I've got to say and and he was telling us he was like you know like use this weekend to prove yourselves you know that you can that you can work hard and you can work good because remember that it's just not it's not just me that's looking at you it's every one of these other studio owners you know what I mean because there's there's going to be a lot of people there um, and where there's there's tons of artists coming in, there's going to be tons of workshops. Basically, people that know what they're doing that are pretty famous, um, that hold very high positions in the entertainment industry. Um, so it's kind of a weekend to really not just volunteer and you know give back to the community or whatever, which is the important part. That's what comes first. That's why we're doing it in the first place. But it's also a great chance to get to know all these these you know, important people and everything. So that's, I think that's pretty cool. So if you're in the Orlando area this coming weekend, you should stop by downtown Orlando, buy a ticket for the Orlando Hip Hop Festival. It's the first annual. Tickets are like 10 bucks for an all-day event. It's going to be well worth the money. Um, it's all, you know, if you have little brothers or sisters or anything like that, you know, um, if you have kids, it's family friendly. The music is all radio edit music. Um, there's going to be food. There's going to be stuff for the kids. I heard they were we were joking around yesterday. Um, I actually got an interview that I'm I'm meaning to upload with Brent, who is the uh, what is he? he's like the marketing director of the the event or something. I don't want to miss you know. What's the I don't want to create a fallacy of what he actually does, but he's a really important person for the. Uh, the marketing aspect of the festival and he also is in charge of putting people on certain teams and he was joking around yesterday he was like yeah, you guys better listen up or else I'm gonna put you on the um, the, the the bouncy the bouncy thing with the kids <laughs> so that, that was kinda funny but yeah there's stuff for the kids there's gonna be workshops I think for like the for dancing for uh, you know making your shoes look more fly uh, lots of stuff. We're going to have lots of local talent, and we're also bringing in some actually pretty famous people. Like one of the headliners is one of the, the members of the, the legendary uh, Wu Tang clan. Uh, I can't remember the name, but one of the people from Wu Tang is coming in, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're having the, the, the Crazy Legs, which I know is he's like one of the original B Boys. Uh, it's a guy named Crazy Legs is coming in, he's doing some workshops. Uh, so it's going to be a really awesome, cool thing to come and check out. I'm excited to be a part of it and help make it run because uh, I'm doing exactly what I want to do. Like, you know, I see all my friends making a big deal about, oh, I went to this concert and they got pictures at the concert and everything. Well, it's like, that's cool, but I want to be the one that makes the concert happen. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what I'm doing with this is I'm making, I, I'm being part of something and making it happen which is really cool. It's, it's taken a lot of effort. This week is just insane for me. I've got two finals this week. I've got physics on Thursday, and then because I'm working all day Saturday, I'm taking my uh, music theory exam early on Friday. So Thursday and Friday I have finals uh, for two different classes. 
So it's, it's exciting. And then Mina's leaving on Sunday, my birthday, or not Sunday, Wednesday. She's leaving Wednesday, which is also my birthday. Um, my birthday is on Wednesday, uh, so not tomorrow, but the next day. And I, just with this week, so gosh, there's so many things going on this week. I've got, uh, I got finals for music theory and physics. I got my birthday on Wednesday. Mina's leaving on Wednesday. I have volunteer work all this whole week, starting from today until Sunday, because uh, we have to pack stuff. <clears throat> I'm just, I'm telling you, it's just, it's a wild week. Full sail. It, it goes far beyond just the classes. I'll tell you that much. Uh, like you come here and you know you really want to make it somewhere, you don't limit yourself to the classroom, um, because when you I, I guess when you think about it, when you have when you're trying to get into the industry, you have to do anything. You have to be willing to do anything, um, including being the ice carrier. <laughs> we discussed being the position of the ice carrier at yesterday's meeting, um, which is rather interesting. But I mean, if you think about it, yeah, if you're trying to get on with a tour crew and they need someone to carry ice, you 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 know you best bet you b want to be the one that's volunteering to carry that ice. You know what I mean? Like that ice is the most important ice when you're trying to get that position with that company, you know, or whatever. Um, so it's good practice for interning. I'll say that much. Great interning practice when you have to just do whatever job. Um, I think. The people that I'm dealing with directly right now are also students at Full Sail. Like Brent, he is in the uh, the Masters of Entertainment Business. He's in his final month, or his last two months or something. Um, along with Ashley, she's the intern at Basement Beats, who I've been dealing with through email. And uh, and she's, she's really cool. She's actually really short. At, she's got to be around five feet flat. She is a um, tiny little thing. And it was funny because when we all got there, uh, she was like, hey, everyone, I'm Ashley. Uh, you know, it's nice to, to finally meet you all. And someone made the comment. He was like, yeah, you look taller through your emails. <laughs> I was like, oh, God, that's horrible. <laughs> but, uh, but no, I mean, it's, it's cool. She was fine. So, yeah, full sale. The full sale experience, I've got to say, it's, it's beyond just the school itself. Uh, we had the meeting yesterday at the school. It was canceled Friday, and it ended up being yesterday around 5 o'clock or so over at uh, FS4E. It was in Building 4 over at Diesel Bean. And like six or seven of us showed up volunteer-wise, and we you know, had a nice meeting about everything and discussed things. I know what teams I'm on. Um, I'm excited for it. Oh, and in addition to the two teams that I'm on, I also got drafted to be on Brent's marketing team. So go check out the Hip Hop Festival because it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I wish I could just, you know, bring everyone to it uh, that, that wants to check it out. Uh, there are rumors. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not, so I'm not actually. But um, you may, if you're out of area of Orlando, at some point, you may get to go to the festival. That's all I get to say, or all I want to say, because I don't want to get in trouble with, uh, you know, certain people. But I don't know. It should be good. At any rate, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video. Um, I'm actually kind of thirsty now. I'm gonna get myself a glass of water. I hope you enjoyed. Um, like I said, if you're in the Orlando, definitely check out the Hip Hop Festival, the first annual. It's gonna be banging, popping, locking, and dropping. Uh, so. <laughs> Definitely come and check it out. Uh, I will be there running around all day helping stuff out. So if you're there, uh, look for my hat. I will be wearing it that day. I will also have on a volunteer t-shirt. Uh, so you can say what's up if you end up coming out or whatever. Because um, that would be pretty cool to meet people that check out my videos and stuff. Um, which, you know, I think would be... It's awesome anyway hearing emails from people. But anyway, I will see you tomorrow after we get done with physics. Um, I'm about to get myself a glass of water. And then hang out with Mina. We're working on homework right now. We're about to get ready to. And I guess I'm going to crash. I'm waking up early tomorrow to go on a bike ride. Uh, it's going to be rad. I'm going on the Katie Way Trail. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow.